Kelly came in um, um, brought a load of lads in with him um, that he had worked with before and he had known and um, I think he maybe underestimated the championship the, the jump maybe um, yeah. so a lot of us were sort of out of the picture to start with um, and then he's once he, the season kicked in, he sort of realised and um, end up. I think like me and Bobby, I don't think we were in and about it. It's like straight away we were sort of left out and that, and um, it was just a case of well, here we go. This could be a, a long season, you know. But no, we had we had a good group, and he was good. At, he was good good at uh, getting the lads together, and um, it was all simple stuff with Hilly. Uh, the training was really good, high tempo, and and. Again, if you worked hard, but we spoke to a couple of lads who he brought in, and they, they said, "Look, if you if you if you graft for him, then you know you've you've got a right chance, and he'll like you." And, and and that was the case. And that turned out to be a good season in the end. Aye, it was it was it was a good season, um, and then obviously we never started the next one very well, and it's just uh, it was just one of them that he lost his job and stuff, and. Yeah. Uh, flickers, flickers took over, and that must have been really difficult, you know, because they were like chopping cheese or two of them. They were like thick as thieves, and um, yeah. but diff again, different sort of characters. Um, flickers, it's, it's, I think it would be difficult going from being the assistant manager to then being the manager because, like, we were still calling them flickers. We, when he got the job <laughs> at the end of the season, it wasn't a case of. Gaffer, gaffer, like he wasn't he like that, and we were still calling him flickers, and I find that a bit weird as well. Somebody's a manager, they're the manager, you know. And um, but no, he was great in that respect, and we obviously went on that, that mad run, and I'm sure we'll get. Yeah, what well, job he did? He was just was he just the right man in the right place with the right skill set at the right time? I I, mean, I have said before, it's just like it was a. I think it was subconscious thing. Well, that's right or wrong. You you get a kick up the backside and it's no nice to see somebody losing their job and no. Um obviously we we knew Flickers and we liked Flickers and when he'd sort of got the job temporarily it was like, right, well let's let's go and graft our balls off for him and, and see if we can get him it really. Um and I, like I say it's a kick up the backside and you sort of sometimes you don't realise how good you've got it and you hear about you hear about other managers in the game and they've got you in it every day and you're doing Double, triple sessions, and yeah, I did it good, man. Like Flickers, Flickers thing was go, go and get a result, and then you can have Monday off, and like planting like a whole little carrots up like that, you know. Like he was good with time off, and like he was going see your families and, and all the rest of it. So he was good that way, and I think that's how like he sort of embedded himself into getting the players playing for him. Of all the managers that you've worked for, uh, Jimmy, is the piece of advice that sticks out more than anything else. Uh, we had Alex Moore on a few weeks back and he mentioned Gary Monk uh, saying that it was a very short career and it was important that when he was training to separate that mindset from when he wasn't and to focus 100%. And he said that stuck with him and it still does to today. I just wondered if there was something like that that you could give as a piece of advice that a manager may have given you that still yeah. sticks with you now or stuck with you for a long time. Yeah, when we were when we were coming through in the youth team, we our, our head of youth was a Celtic legend, um, so everybody like respected him and stuff straight away. Obviously, what he'd done in his career and Scotland international, Tommy Burns, um, right, no longer with us, but absolute legend and the best guy like I've ever known. I mean, great great guys. It's sort of it's a term that gets thrown about, but this guy was probably the best human being. I've ever known. Um, he was so special to a lot of us. And his piece of advice was, he used to say it all the time, is that he used to say, the, it won't be the most talented one that makes it. It'll be, it'll be the hardest working one and the one that sacrifices. And, and you know, it's that old uh, hard work will beat talent and stuff like that. It wasn't, it wasn't cheesy like that, but he would just, in a serious way, and he would say, I, he would just say, like, it won't be the, the most talented one that makes it. And, I think probably ninety percent of our youth team went on to make a career in the game. So, yeah. you know, to get to get something like that, um, that's always stuck with me. And um, uh, he he was a legend. He's no longer with us now, but unbelievable guy. Oh,